Hi guys, so I'm currently sitting in the parking lot of the Lancaster Goodwill again. I can't stay away from this place, I swear. No, we did come up to Lancaster because today is Black Friday. I wanted to stop at the Park City Mall um, at Lush because I wanted to pick up the Golden Pear Body Spray, which I'm so excited for. Um, so we decided to just, you know, go down the street a little ways and hit up the Goodwill again. So I do plan on going into the Goodwill store, and then if I do have time afterwards, then I might pop into the bins. So we'll see how it goes in the store. So let's get on out of here and get some shopping on. Do you want this part? This lady, this lady just, just, just delivered a cart. Well, I don't know. She's getting a drink, so I don't know if she wants it. I might have to get a cart. Do you want to ask her? Adult <laughs> shirts, four ninety nine. Sweaters, five ninety nine. What's all of this stuff, you guys? There's just. This looks like. Oh, I was gonna say. I thought maybe it was like new stuff, but it's not. What's with this? I don't know. Just a bunch of a bunch of cloths. <laughs> it's a bunch of cloths. It looks like maybe stuff from Target, but no, there's other stuff mixed in. But you see, everything kind of has like a slash through it. So they had to have come from a store because they do that so you can't return stuff. What's this? Ooh, very vibrant. Yeah, because like this brand's at tar Target as well. It just makes me think it's a lot of Target things. All right. I don't really want to dig too much in here. I just want to look around at everything. So let's get going. 25% off. Clothing, linen, black tag, red housewares, and black neon, tag. neon purple tag. A black barb. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot. Burp. Burp. All right. What is this thing? Oh, I don't know. What does this say? Go dash dot. Go dash dot. That looks really interesting to me, but I don't... I feel okay. Go dash dot. Might have to look at that. <laughs> yeah, the internet has been acting up today for sure. Doesn't want to load. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. There's a Michael Kors wallet. I don't know if that's authentic though. It doesn't seem like it is. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's not. I guess I could be wrong, but I'm gonna say it's not. <laughs> it's like a big old made in China tag in there. It just doesn't look too well. It says Vince Camuto tote. That's nice. Oh, what's this? This looks nice. Nice and thick. Check that out. Beaded. What? If it's something, go grab that. Will you grab it for me? I don't know. Oh, this is Sam Edelman. That's really cute. It's very large. It's a clutch. Put that in there. I'm going to put it in the cart for now. I'll have to look it up then. Okay. Mm. What's this? I'm completely missing stuff. Like, look at this. This is a Michael Kors tote. Now this actually feels like it's authentic. But look at the straps. That's no good. So we're going to say no to that. what this says. I think maybe it says Ann Taylor. Oh, this one's made out of like candy wrappers. How cute. How cute is that? Alright. That 
coach is not authentic. Ooh, I like that color. Pretty teal. Mine West. Oh. That looks like the sports sack, but it's not. Leather. <laughs> Reebok. Oh, what's this? This is. Is that Sam Edelman again? I just found another Sam Edelman purse. Is that a, oh, it came right off. I might get that one too. I'll have to see how much it is. Tommy Hilfiger. It's just a Neiman Marcus tote. And what's this guy that fell on the floor here? on the floor. It's still kind of hung up there. A parrot purse. Hmm. That one feels nice too. Doesn't say anything. What's this? is looking at um, the hard goods. I'm currently at the shoes, the scoos, that's what I like to call them, the scoos. either someone cut it mm, oh wait no it's a small yeah we can have it wait, wait, we can. I need to find a price tag gold belts I think we're going best in yes the purses have been gone through what are these Yossi Camera. Okay. Stefani collection. Let's take a gander over over here. So charming Charlie. I like looking at the boots. Twelve ninety seven. These feel really nice. So I found a pair of Sorrel winter boots. These are $10. I literally was just at Nordstrom Rack like before I came here and I bought a pair of Sorrel boots for, oh goodness, it was close to 100. I'd say it was like 80 something. I don't even remember now. Uh, so I may get these for 10. What do we have down here? These are just... Aldo, Kimmel Design Studio. 
Those look really cute. So I did notice that the fake Clarks are still here. And the reason you can tell is that stitching there is pretty bad. They've never made shoes that look like this. And if you guys could just feel them in your hands, they feel like they weigh the weight of paper. <laughs> There's like nothing to them. Some of the hard goods. Let's see if we can find anything. I scored some amazing Department 56 Christmas ornaments at the Salvation Army last time I was there. So I'm kind of still on the hunt a bit, I guess you'd say, for um, stuff by Department 56 for sure. Because the stuff is just absolutely adorable for one and two. Um, some of it they don't make anymore, so it's become very, very valuable. Plus, I just like looking at the Christmas stuff. They didn't have two big Michael Kors models, but they wanted 25 each. Oh, uh, wow. They know their, their brand, I guess. That looks like maybe it was hand-painted. Definitely. <laughs> Look at him. Hims is cute. It is. It's tons of stuff. There's those string lights. There's a random, random battery. You can check something that lights up. I don't remember now what stuff was on sale. As far as like black clothes, barbs. I don't remember. We'll I don't remember. I don't remember it was either. Black clothes and linens. Santa's bag. There's just so much stuff to look at. Ornament. Cute. It's got Christopher Robin trying to pull Winnie the Pooh. Oh, it's so adorable. Is that made by Charpini? Oh, the little rabbit ear is broke. Otherwise, I'd probably possibly get those. I did find these vintage play school Disney bibs. These are from 1984, I believe. That's super cute. They're still on the original card, which is nice. So I might get those. This is funny. Your specialty coffee order embarrasses me. Are you guys like that, any of you, when you order your coffee? Very specific. <laughs> Okay, this is like a shaved ice maker, but it's got shaved styrofoam in. That makes sense. <laughs> Ooh, chocolate chip cookie candle. I'm pretty sure they sell these at Dollar Tree for a buck. I'm kind of just carrying this candle around. I'm scared it's gonna fall out the bottom and just shatter all over the floor. Cause I gotta find Eric. Here he is with the cart. Oh, those are pears. I thought it was an animal at first. I still have some of those cups. Oh, I like this one. You've cat to be kidding me right now. That one is cute. Oh no! <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> Sheep belt. Not to be confused with seat belts. <laughs> A lot of these boxes are completely empty. That box is empty. Oh, there is actually something in that one. These one. This box was empty. This box is empty. What's 
in here? What, what, just some paper? I mean, oh gosh, it's completely all broken. Whatever it is in there. I don't know. Gotta look in all of these boxes. That looks like a massaging pillow of some sort. There's eh, like one random thing in there. There's some old pipe cleaners. Bits and pieces. They look older anyway. The packaging feels dirty, dusty. Napkin rings. No, no box unturned. What are these? Oh my goodness, what is this even doing here? Someone decided they didn't want this sweater. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is a, oh, why is he in such horrible shape? He is in pretty. I love his little you twig know, arms. Like, He's so like, ah, I'm melting. Well, yeah, open. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what he looks like. That's why he's screaming. He's screaming in pain, not happiness. Now I'm sad. So, I mean, I understand people probably use these things for crafting, but this thing is just filled with <laughs> cleaned out yogurt containers. <laughs> I don't know. For four dollars. <laughs> to Anne, love Tammy, enjoy. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently, Anne did not want empty yogurt containers. I don't blame her. So, like I said, I'm a sucker for candles. This one just interested me. Like, look, it looks like they're actually just kind of pickling in the candle jar. I took a sniff of that, and man, it smells absolutely horrible. Definitely nothing like cucumber or well watermelon. And, well, it definitely, I think, probably isn't the same color as it's supposed to be if they're supposed to be watermelon and cucumber because now they look like bananas and carrots. I actually purchased this um, mug at Pottery Barn. That's where it's from. Someone tore the price tag off of it. But it's so stinking cute. But, guys, look. I found some Badgley Mishka heels. Woot, woot. Ten dollars. What is in here? Open that up. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think it's a cap for a, yeah, it's a cap for a graduation gown. Mm. So. Mystery solved. Mm. Nothing, nothing real interesting there. Sad time. Yeah, I mean. Was the gown there or something? No, but I, I did see a black gown actually now that you mention it, I think further down, so. That makes, makes a little more sense there. Just wasn't quite where it was, the hat was. So I'm just kind of, oh look. Oh, I was like, here's another one. That's the one I just put back. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. But I'm just looking through the dresses yet and the coats, but here's kind of an overview of my cart. I didn't end up finding this vintage swatch telephone it does have a cord it's really cool looking I think this is um, I want to say it's $2.99 yeah $2.99 Eric found some of these sweet art glass plates Badgley Mishka heels these Franco Sardo boots are so super cute so a lot of good finds today Eric found himself a hat that is pretty sweet actually New York Mr. John Classic. It's pretty cool. Let me put it on. Put it on me. Uh, I don't. I don't know. It looks a little weird. <laughs> it is weird. Alright, guys. So back in my room to do my Goodwill haul. We ended up finding a lot of good things. Our bill was seventy-two dollars and seventy-six cents, and I hope to make that back off of just like one thing that we purchased. So I'm hoping for a good, a good turnout for the items that we did pick up. So I'm gonna go through everything, and I'm also gonna try to give an idea of what I hope to get for each item. I. Uh, it's hard for me to do that in videos only because what I'd like to get isn't necessarily what you will get um, just because not everything sells for as much as you would maybe like it to but I'll try to do just kind of like a roundabout of what I hope to get from the items that I got. So 
The first thing is these beautiful Badgley Mishka heels. I mean, how stinking pretty are these? They are black velvet, really tall heel. They have a peep toe here on the front with a bow. These are a women's size 10 and are in really nice condition. So I'm probably going to list these for about $50 which I think is a great deal for Badgley Mishka. So those were an awesome find. Uh, let's see, I got a couple pairs of shoes. The other shoes I got, and I wanna take the rubber band off these before they leave too much of a print imprint on the shoe itself. But these literally are brand new. They still have the tissue kind of tucked in them. But these are by Franco Sardo, gorgeous gray booties. I mean, look at the heels on these with the floral embroidery. These are just so gorgeous. Like if they were my size, I'd probably keep them. So these are a nine and a half. And I am probably going to list these for about $70. And I get my prices based off of solds and other people who have similar items listed. Now these shoes, the only pair that I saw of these shoes on eBay were black, but they did sell for $70. So since I have gray, I mean, maybe that's a harder color to come by. I don't know, but that is the price that I'll probably list mine at. And then the other pair of shoes I got, <laughs> Shoes are something that I love to sell, you guys. That's one thing that you will notice with my videos is me buying shoes. I love to sell shoes. So these ones here are Doc Martin 8. These have eight eyes. And these, man, why is my, my nose is always itching when I'm doing my hauls. I apologize. That's probably so gross to look at. <laughs> but these are in really nice condition as well. Um, I had a pair of Doc Martens when I was younger and they're definitely an expensive brand. So I plan on selling these for about $50 just because they are literally in brand new condition. In fact, and this is the hardest part about being a reseller is wanting to keep the stuff that you find because man, if those shoes fit me, I might be keeping those. I did get a couple of purses. This one here is brand spanking new. It still has the tag on it. It is by a company called Joy Susan. And it's really nice because it also has the name of the style. So it's like super easy to look up. Uh, but it is called the Molly Slouchy Hobo. This is actually made of vegan leather. And when I looked it up, it has a retail, it sells, like you can still buy it on the Joy Susan website for $72. So I'll probably list mine around $40. So it, like I said, it is brand new though. And just a really, really nice bag. I know it's gonna be too hard to see in there. I don't think it has any inside pockets. It's just like one large compartment when you open it up. But it has that nice kind of like magnetic snap closure. So just a really, really, really nice bag. Oh, it does have one compartment here on the front or the back. I mean, you could use that facing the back if you wanted to. I found this Sam Edelman purse and I love Sam Edelman. I just, I love the purses and their shoes. Like everything is just so cute. And this one kind of has like a boxy shape with a strap and then it's kind of got a chain detailing here along the side and this is actually called um the alice bag i believe and then when you open it like this this is what it looks like on the inside so this retailed for 98 dollars and i plan on selling it for 50 dollars and i think this is new as well because in this compartment here, it's just got that like little silica thing. So I can't imagine anyone who was using this purse just was walking around with the silica packet still inside, but who knows, maybe. But so super cute. I absolutely am eating my hair. 
Oh, it's like wrapped around my tongue. That is so gross. I am horrible at making videos. I don't know how you guys stand to watch me. But anyway, beautiful purse. I absolutely love it. But I don't think it, I don't think I'm keeping that one though, even though I really like it. And what do you know? I actually found another Sam Edelman bag while I was there. This one is called the Prudence Clutch. So you would just carry it, you know, in your hand, under your shoulder, like a clutch bag. It has this wonderful fringe here on the zipper and then like all of these like really colorful, do you hear that? That sounds awesome. Really colorful beads. I get super distracted by stuff. Anyway, uh, the retail value on this was $128. And I'm probably going to list it for around, I think, 40 is what I I think so um just not as not as high of a retail or yeah not as high of a resale value because I think you can buy it at Nordstrom Rack currently like right now this is still like a current kind of purse style whatever um for around like 50 ish dollars so I think 40 would be a there's something in here um, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but I think $40 would be a good, um, price for it. But on the inside, I know it's going to be hard to see, but this side has a bunch of card holders, which is really nice. And then like a bigger compartment on the other side. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! See, this is the problem. I get all excited about finding stuff and I don't look hard enough if there's anything wrong. Two beads are missing so I'm gonna have to list this for cheaper than $40 since there is damage um, or I can try to fix it and you know what this is gonna be an easy fix. Just some black thread and since I already have the beads I'll just sew them back in there and I will disclose that in my auction that it did, um, I did fix the, the bead situation. So easy fix for there. I'm glad though that the beads were in the purse. It does look like I'm still possibly missing. Yes, I do think I'm missing a green one here, which I don't see in the purse. So that kind of sucks, but like I said, the the resale on this isn't the best um, just because it's still being sold at Nordstrom Rack for cheaper. There's also a, a Tums in here. A Tums Chewy? I didn't know they made Chewies. That's gross. But yeah, um, that, that was in the bag. Um, so slightly upsetting with that, but you know, it happens. Uh, numerous times I've had, I've purchased things and then ended up having to just like redonate them due to like slight defects or, you know, small stains and stuff like that, that I just couldn't get out. Um, live and learn, live and learn, moving on. And then the, the, bleh, the last purse that I found was this one here and I didn't know anything about this brand. I just felt it and it felt like a really nice thick texture, just a really nicely made purse. Um, it is by a company I believe called Go Dash Dot and you can wear it as a crossbody, but then there's also these little slips here on the back, which I'm thinking you can like put this on a belt and wear it like kind of like fanny pack type of style and then take off these straps here so however you want to use it and when i looked this up i think it had i want to say the retail was around like 80 ish possibly so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to list it as. Definitely cheaper than 80, maybe 50-ish range, possibly. I'm not sure. It's in really nice condition. Like even the straps still feel kind of stiff. Like it hasn't really been worn much, if at all. So I did pick that up. I found two brand new on the original card, Vintage Play School Baby um Disney bibs these were from 1986 
And you get two on the packet. There's this blue one here, and then on the back we have a yellow one. So it's Mickey and Minnie and Pluto. And I like picking up vintage stuff that's still like on its original packaging just because it's not something you can just go to the store and buy anymore and I know in my last video I was getting a lot, a lot of comments and people saying like why didn't I pick up the Disney tote and because I know Disney does sell and I do try to pick up Disney when I see it um I just I wasn't really interested in that in that tote but this here I think was a pretty pretty awesome find I think someone would maybe possibly really like these especially since they are new so I'll probably list these separately maybe like 20 a pop like $19.99 free ship so there's that. In my video, you will probably have heard that I am a candle hoarder. I have no problems talking about my wanting to hoard candles. I don't know why I do it. I just love, love candles. They just bring me so much joy. They smell so good and they don't go bad, right? So I love picking up candles when I see them. And this one here is from White Barn. It's called the scent is sun and it says the perfect summer. So I don't know if it's the perfect summer sun or if it's just sun, regardless. Um, it smells amazing. It smells like the beach. Yeah, it's very bright, beachy. Um, oh God, oh, it just, it smells wonderful. Anyway, they don't make it anymore. So sometimes finding stuff like this is a win-win. So if I, decide that you know I'm willing to not put it in my candle hoard then I'll just sell it so this one actually sold for $39 so I'll probably sell it even though it smells amazing um but yeah definitely don't look past candles I mean there's money to be made with literally anything anything I found this vintage Swatch. It's by Swatch, the brand Swatch that made like uh, the watches, Swatch watches. Um, telephone, a corded telephone. Um, this is in the original packaging, which is pretty awesome. I do think it was probably used before and then just put back in the, the packaging, which is fine. It's really cool and I want to take it out to show you guys just because... It's just a really neat vintage find. So we're just gonna take a look at it. Let's see here. This is what it looks like. I mean, how sweet is this? It just sits like this, Michelle. I mean, how long has it been since you used a corded telephone? It's been a while. So it comes with this, it comes with my hair. Seriously, seriously. Michelle oh my god I'm like the least professional person ever anyway purple cord and then this is what the phone looks like do you see how it's like shaped it's super super cool I absolutely love it if I still used a corded telephone like if I still talked to people people still called me I would love something like this uh, but that's what the little number pad looks like you know, there was something so satisfying about actually putting someone's phone number into... Wrong way. Hello? <laughs> I could have spent like... Ugh. Well, I did when I was younger. Spent hours and hours and hours on the telephone. So, yes, that is that's such a super sweet find in my opinion. Anyway, nostalgia. Love nostalgia. So let's see, what did I have this down for? I'm probably gonna list it around $30, $40, especially since it comes with the original box. So if someone is like really interested in a vintage phone or what have you, having the box or the, you know, whatever, the original parts that came with it is a big thing to people. So $30, $40, I'll probably list it at. This here, Eric actually picked up. It is by Silver Deer and it's called Christmas Animals. So it just comes in a box like this. 
And apparently they have just different like Christmas themed animals. This one is the leopard. It's really very pretty. So it's just a little leopard. And he's got this big, I mean, that's a humongous jingle ball bell around its neck. Like, it's really big. Like, I don't know exactly why they made it so stinking huge. But regardless, this is a really cute piece. And they are um, collectible. I did see, or he did see. Well, I looked it up as well. Um, but anyway, as far as what we'll probably be asking is about $25 for this. So it's really cute though. I like it. I love cats. I am a huge lover of cats. I only got one piece of clothing and man, this was not washed before it was donated to Goodwill. It smells like a musty cabin really musty cabin um not saying that's really a bad smell it's slightly comforting in a way <laughs> which is kind of gross i know uh but it is just a red plaid men's wrangler western shirt i love picking these up with the pearl snap buttons if you've been with me for a while you know this is just something i love to buy along with shoes um, so this here, I will probably list about in the $25 to $30 range. It's got just a really nice color to it with the red and the blue. Just beautiful. Oh, I absolutely love it. But definitely going to be washed. Unless someone really wants the musty cabin scent. Okay, so what else do we have? Eric found this ashtray this is a really cool ashtray it's shaped like a guitar and it's marked Brin's Pittsburgh PA made in Japan here on this little sticker on the back so we'll probably list this about $40 I think I think this will sell because um some people collect ashtrays there's people who really like guitars like guitars and smoking you know what I mean it's just like it would be the perfect gift for the right person so I definitely think it will sell and I love the the fact that it's like a pink color as well it's just very very pretty Eric also found this really pretty women's fossil belt genuine leather there's just like these really nice floral designs kind of like stamped along the edges. Ignore my nails. They look horrendous. I know. Um, and then just kind of like studs in between those. So just really, really nice. I can, if it were my size, I'd probably keep it um, size small. Like I said, made by Fossil. I didn't actually look this up yet, but let's just say for the sake of saying maybe like $20. So it's a really nice belt. And then Eric also picked up these here and they are very similar, but just a little bit different of a picture to them. And we were trying to find out more information about these. They definitely looked like ashtrays to us, but we also don't know if they're maybe just kind of like decorative glass art, like trinket trays or something along those lines. When we did look it up, we found some similar looking pieces by a company called Higgins, but we don't think these are Higgins because they don't say Higgins anywhere on them. So maybe just like inspired pieces possibly. Um, but I will probably list them as an ashtray. You can kind of see there are grooves like where you would lay a cigarette on them. But obviously you could use them like as trinket dishes as well. So this first one kind of has like a city scape scene. Possibly just like I don't know, it reminds me of like bridges and buildings and just water. So got that one. And then he also picked up this one, which has more of a, almost like rainforest type look in my opinion with the ferns and the leaves. So those ones probably maybe $20, $30. Not quite sure uh, what we're gonna do 
price wise with those quite yet. So that's everything we picked up for this latest Goodwill video and haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you thought was the best find of the day. And also down in the comments, like if you guys see something that maybe I passed up or didn't take notice to while I was there and that maybe I should keep an eye out for anything like that, just let me know down in the comments. I sometimes get comments saying that like, I passed all of the good stuff and like, I really like, I don't know what other people consider good stuff. I mean, there are times like when I go back to edit and I do see something that I didn't notice while it was like right in front of my face. Um, but yeah, like let me know down in the comments if like, even if you see something that you yourself would have purchased had you been at the store. Because I like knowing like what other people are interested in and what they like to and what they like to see. So definitely leave those comments down below. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.